Okay, we have a serious video today. And one, we are going to walk into this room with no judgment at all. We're all just gonna be people. My address is in the background again. It's not even an unboxing video and my address is in the background. I'm going to be doing a how to tell that your plant has root rot. And unfortunately, the plant that I have that has root rot is my Monstera Deliciosa Albo Variegata. My other Albo also had root rot, so I recently just up potted him and he's hanging out in water for a little bit just to, you know, hang out. I think that there's something in the potting mix that I used at the greenhouse that is just keeping too much water because both of those I potted at the greenhouse. So I'm going to be up potting, repotting, and showing you the process of how I take care of root rot. I know you guys have been asking for this video for a while, but I can't just like make a video about root rot if I don't have a plant that has root rot. So I do now, unfortunately, and we're going to go through this experience together. Um, also, you're not allowed to judge the state of my elbow. His leaves never hardened on the white parts, so now they're melting, uh, but it's okay because the next leaves that come out will be perfect and then I can cut these ugly ones off. Honestly, okay, I kind of hate, some of you call me the Albo Queen. I think it's just because you're the, I'm the only one that you know of that has a plethora of these things, but that doesn't mean that I'm good at taking care of them. I, please remember that I have only walked into this houseplant journey in February. So please don't judge my Albo, all right? So here she is. We're just gonna get the brown spots out of the way so that you can understand that she's not in her best health, all right? So brown spots, okay, you see the brown spots, leave a mean comment and let's get on with our lives. So the first, I'm gonna walk you through how I discovered that this plant had root rot. The first reason, I noticed that the soil never ever dried out, not once. Second thing I noticed was right here, I don't know if you can tell, but the stalk is almost dehydrated. It's not smooth. Here you can see a smooth stalk. This has hydration. This one, not the not this old stuff, not the brown wooding part, but you can see down here it's parched. It's dehydrated. This is a big sign that your plant has root rot and that it's suffocating because it's not getting any water up here because the roots down here are injured. The second reason, and the reason I'm doing this tonight instead of later, is because we have some yellowing on our leaf. You could be like, well, Ashley, it's just because your leaf has bacteria. No, no, no. This yellowing around the rims means that water is again not distributing to the plant leaf. Just how at the bottom, if we look down here, we'll see that our plant is fine. It's not having any water damage, but as you get further up the stem, it gets crinkled and dehydrated. Same thing with here, the farthest parts of the leaf are affected. And it seems to be that this side is affected more than the other sides. So I am going to show you the process of how I would go about this and Honestly, I think it's gonna be brutal. I wish, this leaf is always facing away from me. If I had caught this sooner because this yellowing did not happen overnight, I probably would have been able to save it, but I can already tell you that the root rot is not gonna be good. I don't even need to unpot this plant to know that it has pretty bad root rot. So, um, let's do this. Okay, I'm also low-key worried that this Billy tie has root rot because he's like, hanging instead of standing and I know they'd normally do that but trust me I can feel that something is amiss. Also I'm very skeptical of whatever is happening right there. So we'll see. <laughs> okay but we're gonna start with the elbow because I know for sure she has root rot. Sponsor me. Does this look trashy or does it look classy? Like a mom you know like hi. <laughs> I'm here to pick up my kid from the plant nursery. You're not allowed to judge how I do this, ya hoes. So uh, I'm just telling you, know, also I'm out of gloves. So you're also not allowed to judge me for not having gloves on while I'm doing this. Watch me kill my Monstera Albo 2K18. Okay, 
Okay, here we go. Wee. Yep, all of that's rot. Literally, literally none of these roots are alive at all. Okay, so your cyst has wildly messed up. You see all of these parts where it's like just these tiny strings that aren't really roots. Yeah, that's because the outside of the roots got so mushy, it just fell off. So, we're gonna literally cut all of the roots off and put her in water and propagate her. <laughs> Even though she's a full plant, we are going to take drastic measures because, what else can you do? I mean, she's really like, I'm not gonna do it, but if you touched any one of these um, roots, like, and squeezed it, it would just squish. Like, okay, well, I'm good to know that I'm a bad plant mom. So, Ugh, look at how bad that looks, guys. I should have acted sooner. I didn't see the yellowing. I'm horrible. Okay. This video is going to be a lot shorter than I thought it would be. The important thing that you have to do is you have to get rid of all rot. And there are two kinds of root rot. There is bacterial rot. And then there is uh, just like, you know, root rot from overwatering. Bacterial rot is much harder to get rid of. And you would probably know if you had it. It smells really bad. I'm actually gonna be cutting this into its own plant. Oh, oh boy, I caught her. Just because I, there's, there's rot on the actual stem and you literally have to get rid of all rot in order to save these plants. So we're gonna lay her on the counter. And cut this one right there. Okay, you're free. Let's cut these off because you don't need them anymore. Okay. She really is parched though. I can't wait to give her water. This guy literally also just had mealybugs too. I think that they like there were babies inside of the um, the dead parts, like these, the, the stubs, um, and then they hatched and had fun tormenting my favorite plant. Okay, so this one was in beginning stages of root rot, but she didn't fully rot. So we're gonna put her in some water, let her hang out. Here's the thing too, and this is really important. When you cut philodendron or monstera, you have to let it dry out before you put it in water. The reason is that when you cut it, okay, so you can see it's kind of getting like, this, where's the camera? It's getting a little like pinkish. Uh, the first time I saw that again, I was like, Phytothora is taking over my house, which honestly it could be and I'm a little scared still. But um, it's just, it's like this blood, plant blood. And if you mix it with water, it will just like rot everything. So we're just gonna let them hang out. I don't want you guys to call me Albo Queen anymore because I'm not a botanist, I'm not a horticulturalist. I hardly know anything. Like, I know a lot, but you guys don't understand that like, I barely know anything. Like really, things are discovered about plants literally every single day. And you can never know everything. And so I'm not the elbow queen because I don't know everything. And no one is the elbow queen because no one knows everything. I just feel like it rubs people the wrong way. Like, 
other people in the community and that's literally the last thing I want. I try to be really like nice to everyone and unfortunately what that can do is make people not like you because you're not taking sides and I tried taking sides on an issue recently and it just I want to cut this whole leaf off because it's just so bad and the new leaf died yeah I'm just gonna cut it Ooh, but we'll cut it above the node okay bye friend no good. I don't know. I just, I want to be friends with everyone and I'm not going to be like blasting accounts anymore and I don't know, getting mad at people for selling certain plants. Like, dude, it's your shop. You can do whatever the heck you want to do. Sell what you want to sell. I just hope that we can all be friends and that looks ratchet real ratchet um but i mean at least she's not sick anymore that's the important part i'm gonna say for an exam i will see you in the next video thank you so much for watching please leave a like please comment please subscribe please tweet me at david dobrik i absolutely love the content i'm putting out this week i'm putting out like three tours in a row and then this and then my houseplant collection tour will be coming out this weekend when I have time to make it truly phenomenal. So I'll see you there and I'll see you in the next houseplant video. Bye. Why do I say bye?